Hey guys, welcome back to Urshi Fufu. Today I have a special, special surprise for you guys today. I found my old Pokemon binder from when I was a kid. It was in my basement and sure enough, uh, I help, was helping my mom clean it out and came across this. I have been looking for this probably for 10, 15 years. I'm not even kidding. We packed up a bunch of stuff from when I was little and my Pokemon stuff went with it. So it was a surprise to even find it. So I am super, super stoked for you to show you guys what was in here. I'm excited too, like I can't wait to see this. I went actually and looked for my Pokemon binder as well from when I was a kid. And we looked through my mom's storage of all my child stuff and we could not find mine. So I must have given it away, which sucks because I know- You gotta I, find it. I it's gotta be in there. there. Hopefully it's somewhere, but anyways, at least we got yours. So let's look through yours. I'm so I'm stoked. I'm so <laughs> stoked to get to this. Let's do it. Okay. Here, Here we, we got, go. Oh, we got all of the starters. Okay, we gotta look for uh, shadowless ones too because those are the ones that are gonna be the biggest hitters probably. Oh, oh yeah. Down yeah. there, yeah. Squirtle and War Turtle. And the War Turtle, wow. Oh, and then the God. Venusaur, the base set. Base set two, Blastoise. And uh, Evolution's Charizard. Oh, man. And then look at this big stack of Charmanders. <laughs> <laughs> well, even on all of them, I got huge stacks in between Bulbasaur and Squirtle too. Um, do you want to start? How about we go through them? Okay, yeah, let's do that first. All right, what else do we have here? The nostalgia. <laughs> and so you got a bunch of Pikachu's underneath this one. Yes. I want to see if you have any red cheeks. I can't promise you on that, but I have no. We will see. We will see. Uh, that one looks different. Yeah. Oh, that's base at two. Another base hit two, base hit two. Tenant surge, tenant surge. Wow. No red cheeks, PO. I mean, this is red cheeks, but not the red cheeks we're looking for. Oh, wow. And then we got the Raichu here as well. I don't even want to put these back. Okay, like, oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, next page. And so, guys, we will take these cards out, uh, like the ones that we think are could be good for grading and we'll take them out in the second half of this video here and we'll we'll show you the condition of all of these but we got Nidoking king and Nidoqueen queen over here oh uh, yeah look at the condition of that Nidoking. king like I'm, that that it's first edition <laughs> but like oh so sad what else here oh hollow venema hollow polyrath base it to alakazam yeah. First edition of Champ, a gray stamp as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. We'll show that later, but. Mm -mm -mm. Megaton. The fossil muck down here. Gengar, hollow. Oh, ho Not hollow though, but you got the hollow haunter. Yeah, hollow haunter. Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, both, or fossil for the Hitmonlee. We pulled this in evolution just recently. Yeah, we did in our last video there. Oh, the Chansey as well. Maybe there's two Chanseys. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, Jungle, Mr. Mime. The Scyther, base set two. Scyther, hollow. Lapras, Gyarados. Oh. Jungle, they point. Oh, and you got the Jolteon as well. That's a big card there. Jolteon, where's Flareon at? Oh, there you go. Flareon from Jungle, Aerodactyl. Fossil as well here. And we got the three birds, of course. I think we got, there's two Zapdos. The one from Fossil and the one from uh, original base set as well in behind there. And then the, the Mewtwo, Hollow Mewtwo as well. We can, we can take that, let's see. Yeah. I gotta be so careful taking these cards out, guys. Oh, you actually got those ones sleep. News to me. Oh, yeah. Base set two. Oh, and a promo Zapdos too. From the movie, I believe, uh, um, second movie? Movie 2000? Pokemon movie 2000? Remember that with the birds? Yeah, I remember it. I just didn't remember getting the card in that one. Oh, you weren't special enough. I guess so. And then is there still more in this binder here? Yeah. Okay, so now we're getting into the second gen stuff. Typhlosion here. That is so nice. That one actually looks in really good condition as well. I don't know about you, but I would always pick Cyndaquil as my starter playing uh, gold and silver. So mm -hmm. yeah. 
Finding, <laughs> finding that typhlosion for me was like cream on the crop. Kingdra, Tyranitar as well. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, and these I NK wish it was cards. Yeah, I got a few NK cards in here. I remember I went, I went to the movies and I kept going back saying I lost my card and I had like five of these. <laughs> <laughs> I think they gave me a few, uh, to be honest. I can't remember. I like pleaded. I was like, can you guys just give me a couple more? <laughs> went to a different movie. <laughs> yeah. You grabbed a few more from there. Ooh, and then we got our uh, bunch of promo the cards. The promos here. First edition Dark Dragonite. First edition Dark Raichu. Ooh. Team Rocket Ooh. cards. Wait, and that Raichu looks like, we're gonna have to pull this one out, but from my angle here, it actually looks really, really good condition. Oh, I gotta check the back too, but yeah, we'll, we'll pull it out just after. That'll be one of the last cards we can get to, but man. I like this cool Porygon too. I remember going to Toys R Us and getting this card. This is one of my favorite cards uh, from the pre-release. Just getting that in advance, that was so cool. Oh, I love that. And some War Turtles. Okay, these are really cool, actually. So first edition, Dark War, uh, War Turtle. And then we got the Japanese version of it here. Not first edition, and then a reverse as well. Yeah, reverse, I believe this was from, not Evolutions. Um, okay, God, what, what set was it from? Do you remember? Okay, we'll just, we'll, we'll skip that part. Okay, yeah, so we don't remember where this one's from. If you guys know, you can tell us. We've uh, picked out the ones that we're going to be sending into PSA that we think are going to be the biggest hitters. And uh, we're going to go through them here with you today and just showcase the ones we have. So first off, we got a Brock Stegdrio, first edition. Uh, condition of it looks really, really well. I sincerely think it hopefully comes back uh, an eight, maybe a seven. They are going for around uh, $103 in a PSA nine. So I hopefully could get maybe around $80 for this if it comes back uh, seven or eight. We have uh, Blaine's Arcanine. Uh, hopefully, hopefully gonna be getting a PSA eight out of this. A Little bit of whitening on the bottom right, but Overall centering is pretty good. And this next card coming up, this one is my favorite card. It sucks it's not the first edition, but still Rocket Scyther. First edition is my favorite card of all time. So nice. And it's even got a, a swirl in the kind of like bottom right there, you see? Yeah, bottom right. Condition on it's pretty good. Uh, I'd hopefully get like a seven. The Blaine's Arc and I went for $200 in a PSA 8, and the Rocket Scyther went for $128 in a PSA 8 just recently. Yeah, and we're getting all these prices from eBay, like the most recently sold. Uh, so all of these prices are actually fairly recent, just from a couple days ago as well, so. Pre-release Misty Cedra. Condition's really good on it. We were hoping for a nine on this one. A uh, nine recently sold for $125. Oh. So we got a Reverse Dark War Turtle. Now this is a big card here. So this one was from Legendary Collection. And just the reverses on these are just so nice. And Shadowless War Turtle. What a sick but, card. Yeah, so <laughs> nice dark blue. And so the Shadowless War Turtle, we were thinking around a PSA 9? Hopefully, but it could come back in eight, but our nine recently sold for around $314. And it's crazy how these cards were still in such good condition, um, or as some of these cards were from when you were a kid still yeah, like, like, in that binder. Cause you, you gotta think like a lot of kids like grew up playing with these cards and just wanted to showcase them to friends and took them to school or whatever it was. So to still have them in pretty good condition, I was really lucky. Like yeah. it just, you know, thinking back, I, I could have probably had these in a lot worse of condition <laughs> than some. I mean, I even had some stolen from me as a kid, so. Yeah, and then this this Squirtle here we got, like, this one's not in the best condition, like there's a little, there's that whitening yeah. on the top and the bottoms, but still, we were thinking maybe a PSA 6, hoping for, we're gonna be hopeful on this one. It is shadowless. Uh, and what did it go for, PSA 6? I don't know if we were able to find one or not. I think it ended up being probably, hopefully, around $150. Okay, so we're on our next bunch of cards here. So, let's grab them for you guys. Typhlosion is the first one. 
and this one is a big hitter. So I'm gonna actually show you guys the condition on this one a little bit more, so. Centering, little bit off from right to left. Left is a little bit thicker, but not too bad. The back, there is some whitening along the top here, as you guys can see. Uh, and then just a little bit on the bottom, but for the most part, this thing's in really good condition. So we were thinking around a, I'm not sure if we thought it was gonna be a PSA 8 or we could only find a PSA 8, but it sold for $640. So this is a big hitter. Yes, it is. <laughs> so that's super cool. Uh, next, we have Kingdra as well. And so this one, I'm hoping to get a PSA 7 on this one. Went for $192, a little bit of whitening or a decent amount of whitening on the bottom. Still, but, the condition's pretty good. Yeah, and especially for such old cards, so. Uh, next, we have a stack of Ente promo, uh, promo cards. So we got a bunch here. We got one, two, three, four of them. And this isn't even all of them. We had like four more. So I, I saw the movie a few times growing up as a kid <laughs> at the theater and uh, kept going and asking if I could give it, get maybe a, one or two extra cards, so. Yeah, so we just, or Graham just stacked up on these and all of these cards are in like almost flawless. Like this one has a little bit of whitening on the top left there. This one, a little bit of whitening on the top you can see, but there's one of these cards that is like almost perfect. We were thinking around- the left one there. Yeah. So not, not quite 10 material. We're thinking like eights all around for all of these ones, but uh, the PSA 9 was going for around $100 and a PSA 10 was going for around $250. Yeah, so even though these aren't the most expensive cards, a lot of them in good condition, you can still get a decent amount of money from those guys. Uh, and then next we just have a bunch of Bulbasaur's here. So uh, I think, is there any from different sets? Yeah, we have a base set too, a couple just regular base sets, Ivysaur. And so these ones, we didn't really look at the price. We just kind of wanted to get these ones graded see what we get with these guys. So there's that. And this is our uh, third stack that we're gonna be getting into. First up, we got Venusaur from base set. Now, hopefully this comes back, I I'm thinking maybe a six. This was a card that definitely was taken out of the binder a bit to show the friends, but overall still pretty good condition. It it's a starter base set. Pokemon card, so even even in a low PSA, you're still getting a decent amount of money for it. Yeah, a few cracks on the back a bit, so that'll definitely take it off a bit, but that's why we think maybe a five or a six. Six recently sold for $384. And uh, so this card right here was given to me by a friend of ours, and we we're just gonna be sending in to get graded, but this won't be, I won't be selling this. I just want to be showcasing it off to, you know, have. It's uh, it, meant, it means a lot to me. It definitely completes the set and it's from Evolutions, but still it's Charizard. Yeah, and, and so we, not graded, it's $150 roughly uh, for one of those cards. Now the Blastoise. <laughs> and we got Blastoise. Look at this beast coming in. Original artwork few scratches, but overall centering is pretty good on it. It's from base set two. Condition on the back. Yeah, it's it's been used it's a little bit. That's had some time, yeah. So we're thinking maybe PSA 6-ish. Most recent one sold for $192 at a PSA 6. And by the way, guys, all these cards we are sending in through a service called Graded Gem, and you guys can check them out on YouTube, ZNG Emporium. Uh, we'll put a link to them in the description. And basically what they do is just make the whole process of sending all these cards in the PSA a lot easier and a lot more stress-free. Uh, so we're going to be using them and sending them in right after this video. And then so we'll do another video later of what they come back as when they end up coming back. We got a Machamp here from uh, base set. Pretty sure this is uh, from the first edition set because it is shadowless. Because I'll show you another Machamp right here. And to see, this one has the shadow, this one doesn't. But this one, gray stamp. Yeah, that's a this gray one, stamp. This one, not. So one gray stamp, one shadowless Machamp. We're not really sure what these are gonna come back as for PSA-wise, a lot of them, like they're not in that great condition, but we just wanna get them graded, see what they are, and then maybe put them up on eBay or something and see 
what the auctions go for some of these cards. Up next, we got our Raichu from Base Set. And it's in decent condition, this one, too. Oh, yeah, centering is really, really good. We were up for eight. I think that's pretty reasonable for that one. That's going at $114 just the last one sold in a PSA 8, so. And we got Haunter, holographic. Now, I believe you could get this card non-hollow as well, but lucky enough to get the hollow. Awesome. Okay, and then we got a bunch more cards here. A lot of them from Jungle. So we're gonna start off with the Pidgeot here. One sec, let's just get this light over here so you guys can see. Perfect. So Pidgeot, we were thinking PSA 6, PSA 7, sold for around $60. See the back's in pretty beat up shape there. So just get that graded. non hollow Clefable as well from the Jungle set. I really wish I got the hollow version of that, but couldn't, couldn't end up pulling it. And, and this one's pretty good. Like there's a little bit of whitening here on the bottom left, there on the top. Centering looks pretty good, but also, it's not that expensive of a card. So even the PSA 9 is going around $90. And then we have the Nidoqueen. Queen. So this might be, it's not hollow, but this might be the best condition card that we have. Like the centering is perfect. No scratches or anything on it. The back, a little tiny bit of whitening just in that top corner there, top corner there. But other than that, bottom clean on this side. So just the tiniest little specks in each corner there. Hoping for a PSA 9 on this one. That's going for $115 right now. Then Venomoth, also from Jungle here. So this one thinking maybe like a PSA 7-ish, going for around 50 bucks. It's everyone's favorite card. To be honest, <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone really likes Venomoth. <laughs> you don't? No, you don't say anything about really. Venomoth. Venomoth is everyone's favorite card. <laughs> then we got a Victory Bell here. This one's actually not too bad. And so some of this whitening actually is just from the like scratches on these cases here. But this one, I'm thinking maybe PSA 9, the Hollow Shine, any swirls in there? No. But PSA 8, around 90 bucks. And then we have the Flareon, which is coming up next. So this one is actually a pretty big hitter, but unfortunately it's not in the greatest condition. This is like definitely one of my favorite cards from the entire set. Yeah, any of the evolutions, so. Just that like rainbow effect though. Like the, they did the Hollow so good on that. Yeah, so this one was, yeah, you see whitening, centering a bit off left to right. Hoping for a PSA 7, once again, going for around $90. So first up, we got Scyther. Do we have any swirls? No, we do not, but still. From base set two, condition overall, yeah, back's a bit roughed up, but still not too bad on the front. Uh, hoping to get a uh, six out of this. We got Magneton. Hollow from a uh, fossil and same thing with this card. This one's not in the greatest condition either So we're not actually sure how much money we're, we could get from these guys. So Doesn't really matter. These ones we just kind of want to get graded see what they come back as it's kind of fun for us just to see and You too. Everyone's favorite One of the first artworks for him and He is just looking like a menace muck from fossil condition on him eh. Could be a bit better, but still overall pretty good. A little bit of whitening on the back there, but I think we're hopefully gonna get a seven out of that one. Lapras from Fossil as well. And this one's actually in decent condition. We were thinking of PSA 9 for this Lapras. So it looks really good, actually. Uh, PSA 9 last sold for $160. Last awesome. in this stack is the Zapdos. Now there was two Zapdos printed in base at one from uh, the original base set, and then they made one for Fossil as well, with Articuno and Moltres included. Okay, and we actually have a really cool card here. We have... Yeah, <laughs> cool card. <laughs> yeah, we have the cool Porygon. And so this one, the Black Star promo, cool Porygon, still in the original packaging that it came in. So how you got this card, it actually came in an N64 Pokemon Stadium bundle. Can't get it back. Don't, in. Worry, don't worry. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, N N64 Pokemon Stadium bundle. You buy the video game. It came with this promo card, and we still have it in the packaging. So that's actually pretty awesome here. So there's that one. I've actually never seen this card and didn't know where you got it. And it's so cool that it's still in its original packaging. And then we got a base set two Polyrath. Um, any swirls? I mean, there could be a swirl underneath the sticker. He's got a swirl right on his tongue. <laughs> 
So another cool card. Happy to see what that one's gonna come back as. And then we got a couple more promos. Zapdos promo. I'm not sure actually where you get the Zapdos promo from. I don't think we looked that up, did we? Uh, I'm almost positive it's from the second movie from uh, Pokemon the Movie 2000. It was uh, just, they were giving them out with Articuno and Moltres. Okay, and this one, not in bad condition. One of these cards, even though it's a Zapdos card, it is a promo. Uh, even in a 10, I think it was only going for around $76, so it's... About $50, hopefully, if, you know, comes back a PSA 7 or 8. Oh no, it was PSA 9, come back at $76, correction, but still. And then last but not least in this stack, we have the Mew Black Star promo. Everyone's seen this card. Look at that swirl right there. One of my favorites for sure. And then we were hoping for this one, we could maybe get a PSA 7. It's going for $127 was the last sale for this guy here. And then we have one more stack of cards for you guys and it has all not all, but a lot of big hitters for you guys. Alrighty guys, uh, this is our, gonna be our last set and it's gonna be a lot of uh, Team Rocket cards. Uh, first up, we got Squirtle, first edition. One of my favorite cards from the Team Rocket set. I believe it's Poke Rose, favorite card. So, not bad condition on this one. We're thinking PSA 8, PSA 9, between 50 to 100 bucks, so. Nice little purchase. And then next up, we got a Dratini first edition Team Rocket. Same deal, like all these Team Rocket cards, they were actually, I don't know if we showed it in the first part of this video, but they were tucked away behind so many cards. other <laughs> cards. And so all these Team Rocket cards, since they were tucked behind, they weren't getting as damaged and marked up as the ones on the top of the stack. So, so the condition came back like really, really well. And I didn't even know I had first edition ones, first edition ones tucked in behind. We got two Gyarados pre-release cards here. PSA 5 and PSA 7 is what our guess was. PSA 5 is going for 72 bucks, $262 for the PSA 7 card. And I remember going to Toys R Us and literally getting in line to be able to get these cards. Love the artwork though on those ones. It's such a nice card actually. Up next we got Dark Jolteon and as well we got uh, Dark Vaporeon. These cards didn't come in holographic form, but still the artwork on them is beautiful. A lot of these cards in this set have very nice artwork. I think the Team Rocket might be my favorite set of all of them. We would really love to actually get a Team Rocket booster box eventually one day in the future and open it for you guys on the channel. That would be, that would be That sweet. would be amazing. Goals, one day. One day, you guys. We're, Stay saying, we're, say, we're saying it now and watch, hopefully down the road yeah. we'll be able Come to Come back it. to this video in a year or two <laughs> and quote us on this. We're opening a Team Rocket First edition booster box. Oh man, just wait. <laughs> Hold your horses. One, one set at a time. Yeah, and this card. One of my absolute favorites, Dark Charizard. Dark Charizard, first edition Team Rocket. If it gets a PSA 5, which is what we think, it's in pretty bad condition for the uh, Team Rocket cards that Graham had here. It's come back, what, 50 bucks? 100 bucks. Hundred dollars, yeah. So still, like that's just how valuable Charizard cards are. Even non-hollow Charizard in a PSA five from a no not the original set, still hundred dollars. Up next, one of the biggest hitters, definitely that we ended up finding. This is the probably the most expensive card in our entire binder. Look at that swirl. Oh. So it's got a swirl. The front, how's the centering on that? Pretty spot on. <laughs> Pretty spot on on the centering. I think the bottom, like top to bottom, top is a little bit thinner than the bottom is there. But as for white marks, print lines, scratches, this thing is near mint to gem mint. We were thinking nine and maybe even a 10. We were hoping maybe we can get a 10 on this, but if not, a nine. A nine is going at $1,200 and a PSA 10 at $5,400. Which is <laughs> crazy. Oh, yeah, well, a man can dream, right? A man can dream. Up next, we got Dark Dragonite, first edition, non hollow. Still, the centering is well, like spot on. It was a good set for centering. Maybe there was just this box that you got or these packs, but. Definitely got lucky, I feel like. Yeah, Dragonite, we're thinking PSA 7, PSA 8, in between 150 to 330. The back is a little bit left to right. 
a little bit farther than me. But not, not much. Still though, awesome card. Up next, Dark Dog Drio. Going back to the art, this card is amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, like him just smashing through your bedroom. Hello, surprise. <laughs> And, and the hollow on this one is a little bit different than what we've uh, seen before. It's got the kind of like the sparkles or the circles rather than the swirls and lines and stuff. So, a few scratches, but overall, like really, really nice. PSA 8 is what we're hoping for 180 bucks for that guy. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in on this week's episode of Urshi Foo Foo. Hope you guys enjoyed the opening of the binder just as much as I did because it was filled with nostalgia. I, yeah. I can't believe some of the cards that we were able to find off this, like Dark War Turtles, the Dark Charizards, just the whole- And some know, and some of them surprisingly in like very good condition, condition as well, so. I was surprised on that end of it. I mean, some obviously could have been a lot better too, but those were cards also that I purchased when I was younger from other people that, you know, they may have not been in the best condition too. Either way, it was a great opening. Have you guys stuck around for it. We also are gonna be waiting for our cards to be coming back. And as soon as those cards come back from getting graded, we're gonna be doing a full video on all the cards that we were, thought were big hitters. And, yeah. and and then all the cards that we did not send to PSA to get graded that we saw in the binder today, we are going to be selling on our eBay sellers page. So if you guys wanna check us out in the outro, uh, we have our link to our eBay page there and you guys can purchase or bid on some of these cards that we found today, so. Thanks guys for tuning in and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys.